Hello friends. So one of our faculties has raised doubt regarding this uh, question from ninth class, loss of motion topic. So let's try to solve the question, friends. And the question is: So three blocks are in contact with one another on a frictionless horizontal surface, as shown in the figure given below. A horizontal force F, a horizontal force F. is applied from the left side on the blocks so directly it is in contact with the m1 block so indirectly it is also applying force on m2 and m3 so they have given m1 mass 2 kg m2 3 kg and m3 4.55 kg and f applied force is 22.5 newtons 22.5 newtons so to avoid uh, complex calculations so please consider this uh, m3 mass as 4 kg friends so that calculations will be somewhat easy so after that you can try with uh, 4.55 no issue so here the blocks are one is m1 another is m2 another is m3 they are on frictionless horizontal surface so in this system no friction is acting so no need to consider the friction so directly applied force f is there and m1 m2 m3 three blocks are in contact so along with this uh, applied force f there will be contact force between them contact force between m1 and m2 m2 and m3 or m3 on m2 or m2 on m1 means m1 block applies a force on m2 as per newton's third law m2 block also applies force on m1 both are considered as contact forces as per action reaction pair both value will be equal means force applied contact force applied by uh, first block on second block or contact force applied by second block on first block so both will act as action reaction pair and both values are equal in the same way contact force applied by second block on third block in this direction in this direction is equal to contact force applied by third block on second block in this direction so f23 equal to f32 f32 so as uh, actually four contact forces are there but as these two are equal and these two are equal so we can on the whole we can consider as two contact forces so one applied force three blocks four contact forces are there means two pairs of contact forces are there so applied force they have given and the mass masses of three blocks they have given so frictionless surface no need to consider friction so here four questions they have given so these solutions we have to find out so draw a separate free body diagram for each block uh, find the acceleration of the blocks find the resultant force on each block find the magnitudes of contact forces between the blocks so here three blocks the three blocks are there no for them separately a uh, free body diagram we have to draw free body diagram we have to draw so here one minute so here one minute friends let me erase this so here uh if we take the blocks one minute so let's take the blocks separately for drawing the free body diagram free body diagram okay so now so this is a uh, m1 mass m1 mass this is m2 mass this is m3 mass first let's try to draw free body diagram for m1 mass so m1 mass means so we all know that uh, gravitational force will be acting on the 
any body on the earth and the weight of the block will be acting downwards weight of the block means mass of first block m1 into z mz because weight formula is mz weight formula is mz here the block is uh, uh, m1 so we can write it as m1z so w1 weight m1z will be acting downwards that is the first force and block is on the surface so this surface will show some kind of normal reaction in the vertical direction so which is f1 which is f1 bar f1 newtons f1 bar this will be the normal reaction towards upwards so on downwards weight is acting and upwards normal force is acting but vertically the block is under rest condition the block is not moving either upwards or downwards so these two upward and downward forces cancels each other cancels each other so no need to consider vertical force in this scenario and if we uh, see the horizontal forces so from left side this applied force f is acting and from right side because this m1 and m2 are in contact no so that's why from right side this m2 block will show contact force on m1 contact force on m1 means f instead of fab we can write f12 means force applied on block 1 because of block 2 because of block 2 f12 so like this we can draw free body free body diagram first one surface we have to take one block we have to draw and all possible forces with the help of arrow marks we have to mention on the block we have to mention on the block okay friends so total how many forces are acting two horizontal forces two vertical forces as the body vertically is not moving so vertical forces cancels each other vertical forces cancels each other but horizontal forces they won't cancel because the because we are applying force from left side no we are applying force from left side we are applying force from left side means uh, the three blocks are moving three blocks are moving with some kind of acceleration a with some kind of acceleration a so in horizontal direction there is some acceleration this f and fab are not equal they won't ca cancel each other their difference is called net force that net force will be uh, responsible for the acceleration in this in the block okay <coughs> so next let's see the second one let's see the second block second block is m2 block so while drawing free body diagram this is the surface this is the block so downward weight will act m2g will act downwards and normal force f2 force will act upwards this upward force downward force cancel each other so vertically there is no motion in the block and if you check this m2 block this applied force f is not directly in contact with m2 so this applied force we cannot consider here but this is this is uh, under the influence of this contact force and this contact force so contact force by m1 block and contact force by m3 block only in horizontal direction only the contact forces are acting contact forces are acting so force on b because of a or force on second block because of first block in this direction force on second block because of third block so this contact force is acting from left side this act contact force is acting from right side these two forces difference acts like net force and that net force will create an acceleration a in this block and because of that 
the block will move so this is the free body diagram of second one second one so next let's see the third one so what do you think of third one how many forces are acting on third third block so in the same way weight will be acting downwards normal force will be acting upwards both will cancel each other both will cancel each other uh, this uh, weight and normal force both will cancel each other in vertical direction uh, no movement and what about horizontal direction this f is not directly in contact and this m1 block is not directly in contact now this m3 is in contact only with m2 only with m2 so the contact force the contact force on block 3 because of block 2 only this force is acting in horizontal direction only that we have to mention while drawing the free body diagram and this force is responsible for acceleration of the block or movement of the block so in this way friends we can draw free body diagrams we can draw free body diagrams that is first question one minute friends let me erase it so we have finished first question we have finished the first question now let's see what is the next question find the acceleration of the blocks find the acceleration of the blocks <coughs> so here for finding the acceleration friends let's see the third one first uh, force on third block because of second block force on third block because of second block so this one so already we have told these two cancel each other these two cancel each other and on third block only this this is present this is responsible for the acceleration or movement acceleration or movement so what we can write here this fcb or f32 is responsible for the movement of the block means resultant force on the block resultant force means what is the formula for force mass into acceleration mass into acceleration what is the mass of the body m3 m3a so f32 equal to m3a this is the first equation this is the first equation so while considering free body diagram of uh, third block we have got one equation in the same way if we consider this second block second block if we consider this second block in second block in second block what we have told from this side f f21 is work, working from this side f uh, 2-3 is working so the difference of these two forces is, is responsible for net force because the force is acting from left left direction so acceleration also will be in the leftward direction and this force the force acting from left side will be more than the right side more than the right side force so this f21 will be more than f23 and the difference is called f net which is equal to ma or the uh, uh, mass of the block is m2 or we can call it as m2a m2a so f21 minus f23 equal to m2a this equation we will get and for the first block applied force is f and uh, applied force from this side is f and from right side this second block is uh, applying contact force means contact force applied on the first block because of second block it is acting in this direction so this uh, but the left over left side force will be more so this will be more this will be less 
their difference equal to net force which is equal to m1 a m1 a m1 a so let's uh, let's erase all these uh, uh, <coughs> drawings friends one minute no so now instead of 1 2 if you take abc if you take abc so this is the first equation this is the second equation this is the third equation so from 1 1 free body diagram 1 1 equation we will get if we add all the three equations if we add all the three equations fcb fcb get cancel FBA, FAB bit gets cancelled because a force supplied by 1 on 2 equal to 2 on 1. So, FCB, FBC both are equal. These are gets cancelled. So, left side what will remain? Only applied force F will remain. So, right side MCA plus MBA plus MAA. A is common. If you take A as common, MA plus MB plus MC will come. So, R acceleration equal to f by m a plus m b plus m c so acceleration acting on the whole system equal to because all are in contact no all of them move move with the same acceleration that is a common acceleration the formula for common acceleration is applied force by all mass of so sum of all the masses applied force is capital f sum of masses is m a m b m c or m 1 m 2 m 3. So, with this formula we can find because in the question in the question what they have given what is the applied force applied force is 22.5 newtons and mass is 2 plus 3 plus uh, 2 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 3 instead of 4.55 if you take 4 2 plus 3 plus 4 uh, 5 plus 4 9 22.5 by 9 if we do the cancellation we will get the acceleration ok next what is the third question find the resultant force on each block resultant force on each block now suppose if the acceleration is 1 suppose if the acceleration is 1 uh, approximately take it as 1 or take it as 1.5 if the acceleration is 1.5 so then how to find resultant force so how to find resultant force so resultant force on block 1 block 1 resultant force net force on block 1 is nothing but mass of the block into acceleration of the block now this mass is 2 kgs suppose if acceleration is 1.5 so here 3 newtons 3 newtons is the net force acting on the first block what about second block second block mass is 3 acceleration is 1.5 4.5 newtons approximately and third block mass is 4 so what is the net force acting 4 into 1.5 newtons 6 newtons is the net force because uh, because of that net force only that amount of acceleration is created if you know the mass mass and acceleration uh, with the help of force formula we can find the resultant force we can find the resultant force so that is third question next find the magnitudes of contact forces so what are the contact forces already i have told here contact forces force on 1 by 2 is same as force on force f12 equal to f21 or f23 equal to f32 both are equal four forces are there but they act like a action reaction pair so now how to find contact forces already we have the formulas here so already we have the formulas here 
we can apply these formulas. We can apply these formulas. Suppose this first one, FCB, this contact force we have to find out. MC means third block. What is the mass? 4, 4 kgs. What is the acceleration? 1.5. 4 into 1.5, 6 newtons. Like that we can find the contact force. Now, FCB, FBC both are equal. This value also will become 6 newtons. Now, FBA minus 6 equal to MBA. So, what is the mass of second block? 3 kg. 3 into 1.5. 3 into 1.5 means 4.5 here. 4.5. This minus 6 will go, go there. It will become plus 6. FBA equal to 4 point plus 6. 10.5. So, like that contact force also we can find. So, first you have to understand. You have to understand the question. First, you have to understand the question. If you if you understand the question, then the solution will be very, very, very easy. So, for understanding the question, what we have to draw? Free body diagrams we have to draw. Free body diagrams. Free body diagrams we have to draw. So, after drawing the free body diagrams, just by seeing the free body diagrams, you can do all the calculations. All the calculations. So, in IIT exam, no need to mention all these steps. So, just by uh, doing calculations on the diagram itself, you can do the answers. Okay, friends. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you. Have a good day.